Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes. And in an earlier video where I did a double layer cake in the new Wave Oven, I said I would be doing a bunt cake at some point in time. And so I've got my bunt cake pan. And just for this demonstration, you can use any type of cake mix you want when you do yours. But I'm going to be doing a carrot cake in the bunt cake pan. And so I'm going to be doing that in the new Wave Oven. So whenever you want to make your own bunt cake, you'll see how it's done. And so we're going to get started with that now. Okay, so for this cook, uh, basically the instructions give the guide for the ingredients to use. The box comes with the cake mix and some carrots and raisins. And you're supposed to mix one and a quarter cup of hot water into that mix of carrots and raisins. So go ahead and doing that now. And this has to set for like five minutes and the water gets uh, like absorbed in there. So I'll let that set for five minutes. But also after it absorbs there are three eggs here. There is a quarter cup of oil, just canola oil. And basically I'll have to mix this mixture of the carrots and raisins and water and the cake mix and the oil and the eggs all in this uh, large bowl that I have here. So while I'm waiting for this to get absorbed in for about five minutes I'm just going to go ahead and pour this into the big bowl and I'll bring you back when this is all well absorbed and then start getting it all mixed in. For a carrot cake it's more dense than other cakes so they say to expect not to have this rise as much as you would any other cake so we'll see how it goes as far as rising. It's supposed to rise some but not as much as other cakes so We'll see how that turns out, but uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, so things have been setting for a little five minutes or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting it all mixed together in my big bowl here. Just going to get some of the clumps out of the cake mix so that uh, there are no obvious clumps going on from the start. Just going to go ahead and pour in the water and carrots and raisins mixture. Get in my eggs. Could have mixed those up ahead of time, but they'll be all right. Also pouring in my oil. This gets hand mixed. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and spray some uh, ham spray on the pan. I could put some uh, flour in there, but I'm not going to. It never really spreads like I would prefer anyway. I got this well mixed, and you're supposed to put it in the pan and start start baking immediately. So, get this over here. And I'll try and see if I can get it poured in nice and smooth and evenly in the pan. Alright, now stick it on in. With a conventional oven it would be uh, 40 minutes to cook this thing at about 350. I'm going to be using high power on this new wave oven which is 350 degrees for it and although I'm going to set it for 40 minutes I'm going to be keeping an eye on it and we may be done well before 40 minutes but we're going to start there and I'll bring you back when things look like they're good and done and we'll check it out okay so 25 minutes have passed there's 15 minutes left on the clock I'm just going to pause and check it you can see the top's getting pretty brown. I just want to check it out. Still uh, very much a lot of mix in there. And let it keep rolling. This means the top may get a little brown, a bit browned over, but we'll just keep going with it. Okay, so I've let it go for the full 40 minutes now. And so I'm going to take the lid off. You can see the top is. Uh, very very well cooked 
so I'm just going to stick a knife in again it looks pretty well pretty well cooked where I'm sticking looks pretty well cooked so basically I'm going to just let it set for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to have to flip it immediately onto my tray here so I'll just bring you back in about 10 minutes and do the quick flip and then let it cool some more before actually icing all right it's been about 10 minutes setting there so now it's time to try and give it a flip and see what happens next all right plopped right out so there we have our bun cake piping hot I don't know if you can see the piping but steam's piping off of that thing so it's piping hot so I'm gonna let it set and get nice and cool and then uh, I'll try and break out some of this cream cheese pastry bag frosting icing and uh, get it nice and iced up so let's give it some more time to cool and then I'll bring you back but it looks like after 40 minutes it was a successful cook the uh, what is now the bottom and what was the top is really uh, browned over but for the new wave oven that works out good because in the butt cake you know that's now the bottom so it's not like the tops over brown it's the bottom that no one even sees that's pretty brown there so bun cakes do turn out uh, pretty nicely I guess as far as the visual appeal from the new wave oven because after you flip it all looks well and all is well I believe so after we get it all iced up and all we'll do that final taste test and then we'll really know the deal so I'll bring you back okay so I've given the cake some time to cool down good I'm just going to kind of center it because when I flipped it I didn't uh, drop it smack center on there but now I'm going to get this icing on here so I thought this would be kind of neat to kind of just squirt it on rather than to try and use a knife or something so here goes stop with that and uh, I don't know if that looks pretty or disgusting to anyone but looks just fine to me okay so I got myself a uh, plate <coughs> so that I can plate it and slide things over just a little bit give you a better view of the plating just gonna cut a piece off there Just lift it off here. All right. Let me show you the inside of this cake here. This carrot cake. It's well cooked all the way through from the looks of it to me. So we'll just set that down on the plate, and I'll get the camera adjusted, and then we'll do a taste test. All right. So we got our carrot cake, bunt cake, carrot cake from the new wave oven took the full 40 minutes but cooked all the way through real nice so let's do our taste test see what we have here it's a good carrot cake so it turned out pretty well so something to try Bun cake in a new wave oven. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. The website is superwaveovenrecipes.com. On Twitter, at Wave Oven Recipes. Also, Patreon is patreon.com slash dgrill. And good eating. Hi, I just wanted to take this moment to give a special thank you to those who are 
gold level Patreon supporters that are contributing 25 or more a month to this channel's success. They get a special shout out here. And so here are our gold level Patreon supporters.